Greetings Special Centurions and welcome fellow YouTubers back to Oblivion. We are currently in Bruma completing the two sides to every coin quest. Having just visited Jorund in jail, we now have to return to Anora and well murder the bitch and take her amulet. She's just inside here. So let's go in. Oh, hilarious. So, were you able to find out about the gold or not? You're fucking funny, you wench. So he told you another one of his tall tales. I hope you didn't believe him. What's he got in store for me? He sent you to kill me, is that it? Yeah, what about it? What if there was another way? Hmm, I don't know. What if he thought I was dead? I don't know. I, I like the sound of your blood all over the floor. The location of the gold. What did he need as proof? You wanted your amulet. That fetcher. He knows this is the only heirloom I have left from my family. Only he would stoop so low. Yeah, well. Look, I know you could just kill me where I stand. Mm. But what if I gave you the amulet and you bring it to him? Then he'd say where the gold stashed. You kill me here and now. And as far as the town guard is concerned, it's a crime. So you make your choice. You want to do it my way, or Jorunda's? Fine, we'll do it your way, only because I'm a hero to local I guard. I knew you'd make the smarter decision. Good. Here's the key to the chest by my bed. Inside you'll find the amulet Jorunda wants. Take my amulet to him. Get the gold and bring half of it back here to me. If you don't come back, I'll let the guards in on our plan. You'll be hunted all over Cyrodiil. You don't want that, do you? I don't think so. Good luck. Well, you'd end up in jail as well, Miss Miss Scowface. Right. Fucking bitch face. You'd end up in jail as well. Right, let's take the true amulet. Go back to jail with it, show it to Jorunda, make him think that our Nora's dead, and then we find out where the goal is and go and get the gold. Simples. Hello. You, you okay, mate? It's called a, it's called a door. You, you push it here like this. There you go. Yeah? Did you come? No, he's still stuck on the other side. Doesn't know how to use the door, chat. Doesn't know how to use the door. These guardsmen are just not the brightest fellows. Oh, they're doing a circle jack again. How are you? Prisoners may not accept gifts. Okay. Evening, sir. Yeah, okay. What a bother. Thank you. Show me the proof. So she's dead, eh? <laughs> finally, finally, someone has wiped that stupid smug grin off her face. I know exactly <laughs> what you're talking good, about, my friend. Good. Well, you did your part of the bargain. Now I'll do mine. The gold is buried outside the walls of Bruma, near the north gate. <laughs> Goodbye. I don't expect to be seeing you anytime soon. If I were you, I'd get out of Bruma fast before the guards catch on that she's dead. Oh, say it a little louder, you fucking clown. There's a guard right here. Close to the prisoners. And, I mean, it's buried outside of Bruma, outside the North Gate. How vague is that? You expect me to dig up the entire fucking field outside the Bruma North Gate, do you? You fucking chump. Be more specific. Be like, oh, it's buried next to a big... Green boulder covered in moss on the eastern side underneath a bush that has berries on it. Something like that would help me a lot more, but geez. Right, I'm pretty sure our Nora's going to double cross and try and come and kill me, so let's save it. 
and get Skeletor ready and get my sword out. I don't see her anywhere. Right, where's it? Oh, it's over here. Oh, what the fuck? I'm here for Jorunder's gold, and you're my only Terrellius. I've been hoping to get someone in his cell and loosen his lips, and then you showed up. Oh, you're corrupt as well, you really are you? should be more careful when you talk in the dungeons. The sound tends to carry. Jorunder's such an idiot. Yes, everyone's I've an idiot for this gold. Nora. Oh, you take care of Nora already. The finger. Oh. And Jorunder's not going anywhere for a long time. That just leaves you. Oh, so at least Honora is dead. That that can that leaves a smile on my face. Oh shit, he hits. He hits like a fucking beast. Run away, run away, run away, run away. Oh, he can do magic too. It's not very nice. Shit, rock, rock. Skeletor, get him! Good hit, Skeletor. Get him more. Keep fucking him up. Run away, run away. <laughs> the guards up on the walls must be having an absolute fucking hoot of a time. Just watching me run in circles while their guard captain attacks me. They're like, get him, boss! <laughs> oh shit, Skeletor went down. <laughs> down this way. Round this massive rock. Go round the rock here, so he gets caught on the rock. Round round here, so he gets caught on this rock. And round here, so he gets caught on that rock. And now we've created some space. Now we go through the middle. Ha ha! Now he doesn't know which way to go, does he? Now we go through the middle again. Ha 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 ha! Jump! What are you going to do about this? Hey, you didn't see this coming, did you? Didn't think about that. <laughs> what a loser chat. Le who the her. <laughs> oh, so funny. Right, let's get Skeletor out. Let's kill this guy now. Let's kill this guy good, Skeletor. Do your worst. <laughs> What's the matter? Getting tired? Do you not mind Skeletor hacking at your back? Apparently not. It doesn't care about Skeletor just hacking yeah. at him. Yeah. I don't want to. Do you want to die? Do your worst. Uh, Skeletor, come back, please. I need you again, buddy. You're doing a lot of damage. Let's Keep it up. Get this. Die. That's a pistol. <laughs> Owie, you stunned me, double stunned me. Oh, that would have been. I saw my life flash before my eyes then, chat. Owie. Have to go do the old rock trick again, get him confused. Lucky he missed all of those, otherwise I'd have been fucked. He could have easily killed me then. He just he waved his sword around in front of my nose. <laughs> that was so lucky that he missed all those strikes. He fucking parried, which stunned me, and then he was like... <laughs> and just missed like five attacks. Fucking funny. Right, we should have enough health to finish him off now. You'll never take me 
fall before me, Cretan. Gotcha, you fucker. I've killed a corrupt guard named Terilius Long Longellus. Terilius Logellus. Next to the stash loot. Apparently he had overheard my conversation with Jorunda in the Bruma Castle Dungeons and wanted the gold for himself. I think he's also killed Arnora. I can now recover the gold unhindered. Alright, let's take all his stuff. Alright, let's see what all this was about. It better be fucking worth it. There it is. I found the treasure that Jorunda concealed. I should go check if Terilius is telling the truth about Arnora. A couple of brass rings, a couple of books, and a couple of flawed pearls, and 40 gold. That's all the stash that you're talking about. I thought you were talking about serious cash here. That's just embarrassing for you, Terilius. <laughs> he gave his life. He became a corrupted guard for like 50p, basically. That's so funny. Tidings, I just murdered your boss. You don't mind? No? Good. See you later. Uh, let's just repair everything quickly. Uh, let's read these books. The Mystery of Talara. Restoration skill. Nice. And Surfeit of Thieves. Security. Nice. Okay, I'll take both of that. That's very handy. We need to repair as well. Check our Nora's dead and then go talk to Jordan and be like, where's the rest of it, you motherfucker? You promised me a retirement stash of gold and all I've got is two brass rings and a couple of dirty pearls. Don't come in here after me. There's pretty much sure there's a body in here. I found Nora's body in her house. Tyrellis has indeed killed her. I should probably leave before the town guard thinks I had something to do with it. On the bright side, all of Jordan's gold is now mine. Yeah, all 50p of it. She had nothing on her. This is all stealing, so... We could just loot the place. We're in Bruma, so let's loot the place and sell anything that's worth having. Take all the ingredients, because we can turn that into um, potions. She must have had some good stuff in here somewhere, right? Well, that said, she said she was penniless, although she's probably lying about absolutely everything that came out of her mouth. Take all the strawberries. Take the wine. Read the letter. No. Ooh, steel dagger. That's worth something. Mine to take life. Cure potion. Yeah, we'll take all this. It's worth something. Worth stuff. Manual of armor and something else. And... She really had nothing. What a waste of time. What a waste of space. Oh well, let's just go sell all this stuff. Sell everything to our fence here in Bruma. Then I'll go talk to Jorunda and see if he's got anything to say for himself about the pitiful amount of gold that he ended up in jail for for the rest of his life. I feel sorry for these NPCs. They've got a rough time. I'm really. T oh, we'll see. Still only likes me sixty-two yeah, percent, eh? Customer. What do you got? Silver longsword can go. I think I can Steel move. Steel dagger. I think I can move. Honor's true amulet. You. The rings. I. I. That's. That's a. A good price for a good customer. Cheap wine. I think I can. Cure poison. An excellent bar. The nicer wine that's I still worth barely anything. And the all the ingredients that we've stolen will turn into basket can go. We'll turn into po potions. A good price. Well, that seems. Shadow high. Uh, let's just do the potions now. In case we get busted again and have to give up all our stolen goods. Bread loaf, carrot, corn, fleur. 
ham, grapes, canned bullet cap, venison. Imp gall, nope. Mandrake root, nope. Lettuce, onion, potato, strawberry, tomato, red wort flour, pear, glass. Uh, primrose leaves, no. Okay, that'll do. Take a bunch of illegal really. ingredients, make potions with them, yeah, and they're no longer illegal. Customer. Not that it really matters, because we're selling them anyway. Damage fatigue, damage fatigue, pure poison, we're probably not going to need. Actually, we're going to keep, uh, yeah, we're going to keep all of them. Just in case we get across, fight someone who has really high amounts of poison, and we're dying a of poison. We can at least have an antidote on us. That's a Eat potion of healing. Garlic I'll keep because I want to store it. Go see if Jorinder has anything to say for himself about everyone being dead, including the guard that was mocking him, and about his paltry, pathetic stealings that ended up in landed him in jail. I'm good. How are you? Go ahead. Can I help you? What a Oh, he's already gone. He's already gone. He must have been executed, chat. Why did you let me die? Oh, he's there. Yes. He's been moved. I'm not interested in speaking with you. Why not? So, you both tricked me. And now you're here to mock me. Fine, fine. I hope you were happy working with that deceitful wench. She's already dead. <laughs> I'm sure she tried to con you out of half the money. <laughs> Can't say I'm sad to hear about Torellius either. Good work, <laughs> good work. Make up your mind, Jesus. Okay, whatever. Torellius is dead, Arnolis is dead. Honor is dead and you're going to rot in jail for the rest of your life for about 50 p's worth of stolen loot. So, yeah, well done. Big man. Okay, nice. So that's most of Brummer done as far as I know. Uh, I think well, next what we're going to do is, since we don't have a mission at the moment, we're going to mark that. But what we're going to do is we're going to come down to here and we're going to clear Vilverin. We're going to completely clear Vilverin. Bring this person all the way down here because they're an archer, so we're going to have to charge them. Plate mail is no longer damaged as swiftly from combat. Nice. This guy is doing some serious damage to us. He's like a fucking ninja.
Die, motherfucker. Die, thank you. Fuck me. So yeah, unfortunately all the bandits will have respawned in the alien ruins, so we're going to have to kill them all again. But we should be able to do it a bit more easily this time because we're a bit stronger. In theory. We'll see. Oh, don't move. You fucking moved. Oh, I'm stuck on a rock. Hey, you leave Skeletor alone. Oh, he fucked Skeletor up. Don't hold back. Yeah, okay. You sound like an anime character. You do realise I'm not fighting at full power, don't you? This fucking pillar got in the way. Good work, Skeletor. You put him down. He just went bleh. Where did his items go? Right, there's the shield. Where did his axe go? Is that it? No, there's a clams. It's there. Got it. Okay. Iron arrow for boots. be a crab somewhere down here that we have to kill. Is there any known route? Let's repair up. Crab's miles away, so whatever. Take that. A strong potion of healing in there that time chat uh, do I want to sleep and become a vampire probably I don't know why I haven't become a vampire yet there we go you dream of someone sleeping peacefully in his bed when a shadowy gaunt figure silently enters the room approaching the bed the figure leans down and sinks its fangs into the sleeping person after a few moments the pale figure rises blood dripping down his chin as color flows back into the vampire's face and his features fill out you recognize the face as your own you awake screaming we're now a vampire chat. So if we take a look, we're all pale and gaunt now. And if we look at what we get, 
We've got Vampirism, we've got a weakness to fire, 20, so fire fucks us up quite badly. We also get sun damage when we're not at um, 25% Vampirism. So there's four levels of Vampirism, 25%, 50%, 75%, and 100% Vampire. And they all get different perks and things like that as you go up them. Um, so speed, we get five from Vampire. Willpower, five from Vampire. Strength, five from Vampire. Uh, sneak five from vampire, mysticism five, illusion five, hand to hand five, destruction five, fortify athletics five, acrobatics five, and then resistance to disease a hundred percent, resistance to normal weapons five, resistance to paralysis a hundred percent, and uh, we also burn in sunlight once we get to seventy five percent vampirism, as well as having negative effects from people. Um, People respond poorly to you. People respond negatively to you when you're in town. Oh, maybe this place hasn't respawned. So there's no one in there. And there's no one here. Yeah, good. This place hasn't respawned. So it's just the the, the vandals the bandits outside who kept respawning not nothing in here has respawned oh no this has weird traps respawns the foods respawned you think the enemies would have respawned as well but i guess not it's fine with me we can just go faster through here make sure it's all clear it seems to be Anyone up here? Hello? Hello? No, no one up here. Oh, I don't think I got this chest last time because it's still locked. Just 30 gold, but still, free, free gold. Okie dokie. There is someone in here. And there's someone else up there as well. And this bitch has got an electric bow. And a dwarven dagger. Get a No, she had electric arrows. Okay. Move, please. I want to get your dagger. Thank you. Before he comes up here. Let's heal up. At all, I choose you. Uh, I'm a useless skeleton. Uh, 
Good work. Got him. Dwarven bow, that would have been painful. Iron, all of this is iron, all iron, iron, and a locked chest. Bow can get behind, get left behind. Steel bow can get left behind. Chainmail, fur boots, leather boots, leather shield. Oh wait, did any of that stuff need repairing? Yeah, it did. Whoops. Let's just repair it quickly. Get my skill up. Steel bow, and then the armor. Oh, a steel war axe we don't want. That's shit. Weighs a load and doesn't sell for much. Okay, good. We're at 170, and we still got a load of food as well, which you can turn into potions. Speaking of food. Me, this guy hurts. Just like every other bandit we fight. Tee hee. You're in trouble now, son. I'm just going to keep doing this until you're dead. You haven't actually hit me yet, mate. Now you're hitting Skeletor. Don't feel bad. No one lives forever. Die. This ends here. Oh, a Take the cloth, but it's a carrot. Thought that said carrot chat. I don't want cloth, I want carrots. Oh, whatever. Thought there was something on the edge of the crate, but it doesn't look like it. Steel mace is shit as well, get rid of it. And the steel dagger too. Where's the steel dagger? Steel dagger can go. Silver dagger weighs five, is only worth 40, not really worth keeping. 
Yeah, all good. Should be another one in here somewhere. Bandit, I mean. Two hands This accident. is the part where you fall down and bleed to death. Is that the best you can do? Yeah, well, you fight like a dairy oh. farmer. Ow, I'm stuck on the wall. He should come out once the skeleton's dead. He's just trapped in there with it for a while while it fights. Alright, now he should come out. Maybe not. Do your worst. Do, 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 do. I have to do the old loop again because we're running low on health. It's got a steel battle axe chat and it's pretty painful when it hits you in the face with it. So I should be able to finish him. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. The way Skeletor just went bleh <laughs> and just like popped his head. Popped him in the head. He had a healing potion. Why didn't he fucking heal himself? Weird. Just the way Skeletor just raised his axe above his head and then just went bleh. <laughs> so funny. Okay, that was a silver battle axe chat. No wonder it was doing so much damage. Fuck me. All right. Um, 208. Is that because of the silver battle axe? Yeah, it is. It's worth a pretty penny, though, so we're going to keep it for the moment. Okay. Onwards to the undead section where we had to run away last time because Skeletor was getting his ass beat. Iron crap. Yeah, we don't want it. I'm not going to go that way. We're going to go down this way first, chat. Yeah, let's go down this way first. Oh, skeleton, skeleton. Why did I crouch? I didn't mean to crouch. Crouching's not going to do anything. Skeleton versus skeleton battle. Oh, it's just a normal skeleton. That'll be easy. 
You can summon one of these. Although, our summon is just being an idiot. Get him, Skeletor. Teach him, teach him what a real skeleton can do. It's all just skeletons and zombies down here. We shouldn't have too much of a problem. If. Okay, water that way. Let's see what's down in here. Oh, a skeleton guardian. A ghost. Well, fuck that. We're not fighting the ghost. We don't have any... Um, nothing in there. By the looks of things. Just an easy gate. Yeah, we don't have any silver weapons, so we're not fighting the ghost. Oh, can we reach the Welcome Stone yet? No, it's just out of reach. Uh, what the fuck? Where did you come from? Don't open the gates. Whatever you do, Skeletal, don't open the gates. <laughs> Oh, we can't repair stuff when enemies are nearby. That's a ghost. We're not fighting it. Let's unlock the one that doesn't have anything in it. See if there is, in fact, nothing in it. Yeah, it looks empty. Okay, so we'll fight this skeleton instead. Is a skeleton here, yeah? This is a skeleton guardian. We can actually damage the skeleton guardian, so we're going to fight it. Skeletor, go! He's got a shield that I want as well, actually. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to... I meant to do that. Summon Skeletor. Splat! Skeletor goes down. Oh, there's an arrow there. Take the arrow. Get him, Skeletor. I want that shield. Ow. Skeletor, he's attacking me, buddy. Just hit him. What are you doing? Ow. Skeletor, you useless idiot. Ha. Yes, get him, Skeletor. Shit. Fucking heavy armor saved us there, chat. Oh, did Skeletor get him? Skeletor got him. Nice. Or not? Where did his stuff go? What the fuck? Where did his body and... Where did everything go? That's annoying. Skeletor killed him and he just disappeared. Despawned. I wanted his shield. Oh, here it is. For your shield. Bone meal. Where's the mace? Where did the mace go? 
Uh, let's put on. Let's get some magic going. Um, Starlight. There it is. Nice. Okay. We did get it. Good. I thought it just vanished. Right. There's nothing down there but water and a bunch of ghosts and cells. So we'll go this way. I don't think I can repair stuff at the moment though because there's enemies nearby. Yeah. Oh, it's a zombie. Normal zombie or a dread zombie? Normal zombie. Easy peasy. Ah, Skeletor got owned. Lovely jubbly. Right, repair. Oh, really? I'm not going to be able to repair anything. Oh, yeah, because the enemy's down there. No, I'm here. Right, we need to leave because we need to repair stuff. And the ghost, no, I'm down there. Ghost down there, no, I'm here. So, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to repair anything whilst those ghosts are alive. I've got a silver mace now, so I can bosh them up with a silver mace. We sleep. Doing that annoying thing where it's like enemies know where you are, you can't sleep or fast travel. Even though we're out of the area that the fucking that the fucking enemies are in. You're gonna have to run all the way to the surface. And even then it might not let me repair because it's so glitchy sometimes when it does this. Like, the enemies are chasing you. They're locked in a fucking cage. In the bottom of the fucking ruin. Just let me sleep and repair, you cunts. Fucking hell, yeah, see? Ooh, there's a bandit down here. Oh, no, there's stuff. Cannot wait where enemies are nearby. What garbage. Fucking retarded game. Alright, now it knows I'm here. Oh, my horsey. My horsey knows I'm here. Ah, oh, it's so fucking irritating. Because you need to be able to repair stuff. There are no enemies nearby, game. Fuck you! We have to save and load. That's the only way to fix this fucking bug, is by saving and loading. Uh, return, return. Gate, load game, load this fucking game. Now there are no enemies chasing me. Oh, really? It's just obnoxious. So fucking obnoxious. Well, what can I say, chat? I can't do anything at this point. Try go entering the sewers over here. That might do it. Loading an entirely new area might do it. Go in here. Oh, a sign of the door sees no entry on pain of death. Sealed by authority of Commander Adamus Philida, Imperial Legion. Oh, I didn't know about that. I thought you could go back in there whenever you wanted. There are no enemies near me. What the fuck, game? That's a crab down here. Yeah, let's kill this fucking crab. Take our anger out on it. Die, crab! 
Yeah, see, my fucking weapon's broken because I can't goddamn repair it because of this shit fucking game. I'm gonna get killed by a mud crab. Oh, fucking hell, game. All right, guys, I'm going to go. I'm going to fucking run to the other side of the map, basically. I'm going to end the episode here. I'll go repair all my shit somehow. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'll probably run all the way back to town, repair all my stuff, then come back, and I'll start the next mission off where we were before in the Alien Ruins and carry on from there. But thank you so much for hanging out today, guys. I do hugely appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed playing, apart from this retarded, obnoxious mechanic at the end of the game at the end of the episode um yeah i'll be back tomorrow morning with another episode of oblivion so hopefully i'll see you all there for that if not i'll try and catch you in some other content i produce i try and make content every single day now so sal wait till next time